still no sound? Now. Hmm, this is very, very strange. It's working? You can hear me? Hey, there we go. Basically, <laughs> what I was saying is that we're on night shoots this week, and so I've become nocturnal, and I have no concept of time, which is very, very interesting. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, and before I get started, I just want to say that everything happening this season is so epic, and it's, um, it's, it's really special, and the show is completely elevated, and we're taking it up a notch, and it's... Uh, Everything's going to be really fantastic. I cannot wait. Aside from that, um, if you guys have any questions for my cat takeover thing, I'm looking on my Twitter for any questions you may have or in these comments to the side. Uh, the show is coming back on next year. I don't know what day. We don't have a date yet, but it will be coming soon to answer your question, Jasmine. You're welcome, Shane of French, for the sound. You're welcome. All right, let's see. I've got some questions here. They've, uh, oh, here, Amanda Conklin wants to know, is it sticking to the book? Yes and no. Uh, the story for the season is, is sticking with the skeletal plot of the book, sort of. Um, sort of like season one, but we're bringing in so many cool new elements and so many amazing things. But what's great about it is the show allows us to take these characters that we all love and this story that we love and this world that we love and to make it our own and to throw a new perspective in and a bunch of new elements. And it's, uh, it's really going to be amazing. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Hannah Carl is asking what my favorite rune is. Um, favorite rune? Probably the Fearless Rune because from the books it's the first one that Clary creates and I love what it represents. Kim Delavo says, who is your favorite downworlder? I can't choose. Favorite downworlder? You're, you're asking me to choose between, like, Luke and Simon and Magnus, and uh, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. If I had to choose to be a downworlder, I would say Warlock, because I love that they have the power to create things, the power to heal things power to do things and they don't have the responsibility of being the police of the downworld because that's that's a lot. So many questions. Uh Grace de Le I'm gonna butcher this name. De Le Q? It's a beautiful name. Uh yes I did read all the books. I loved the books. It was absolutely fantastic. What's happening with Jason Valentine? I can't tell you. Kathleen Victoria Dakota says, Has, have there been any pranks on set? Not yet. Dom has scared me a few times, which of course we know always happens. But there have been no major pranks. I'm, I'm, I have a feeling that there's one coming and it's going to be huge and I'm terrified. So I'm sure there will be a video of it that you all will see. Ooh, my favorite outfit for season two from Jennifer M. Bender. Um, I really love the wardrobe this year. It's it's really cool. A lot of it's the same. It's in the same vibe as obviously we're still in the shadow world. We're still shadow hunters, but there's something about the wardrobe this year that they've created a, a sense of individuality and a sense of character from each of the characters, and it's it's very exciting. Gabriella Saravia wants to know, please tell us about Malik. I can tell you nothing about Malik except that they're amazing and they're awesome and they have a they have big things coming this year. Uh, Sarah Garcia says there are going to be more Alec and Clary scenes. Maybe. What runes am I wearing? Um, I have the Arasi rune right here, 
And I have the Vision Rune, the Protected Rune, Soundless, and if you guys have watched season one, you know what that rune is. Uh, but these are, the, I have more runes technically, but because I'm wearing a jacket on set today, we don't put them all on because it just takes extra time. So there you have it. I have filmed tonight. I filmed a couple scenes in the City of Bones, because that's where we are today. And I have one more scene with Izzy later. Favorite weapon. My favorite weapon is uh, the Seraph Blade. Clary has her own Seraph Blade this year. We're changing a lot of the weapons, and it's, it's really exciting. Are there, if, uh, oh, here. Thank you very much. We have some questions coming in from Twitter as well. Let me see here. Uh, Darth Malik says, what are you going to be for Halloween? I don't know what I'm going to be for Halloween yet, because I think we're going to be on set for Halloween. I think we work that day. So I'm going to have to plan something. What do you guys think I should be for Halloween? You tell me. I've got a couple ideas, but you tell me. Uh, Leon14043 says, will I be signing and taking pictures at Comic-Con? Yes, I will be. The whole cast is going to be there. We're going to be at Comic-Con. I'm so proud. Um, Lightwood Bane 96 says, how is it to work with the stunt coordinator? Loved that Matt director video. Yes, Matt Hastings is fantastic with uh, posting all of these videos and pictures. Amazing. Um, Darren McGuire is our new stunt coordinator. He is incredible. Um, we're getting to do so many cool things. The action this year is unreal, as you can see from the videos that we've been posting. Um, but that's just the tiniest taste of what's coming. Any secrets I can tell you about Malik from Music Freak 01? I can tell you nothing. Quit hounding me for Malik's secrets. I can't give you anything. They're not my secrets to give. Let me see here. Loading, 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 loading. Uh, Hilo I'm so sorry about these names. Hilo Akidia um, is asking if I read The Infernal Devices. I have not read The Infernal Devices. I only read The Mortal Instruments because I only wanted to know sort of what Clary knows. And The Infernal Devices and The Bane Chronicles and all of those other books have so much information about what happened before, what happened after. I didn't, I didn't want my performance to be influenced by all of that knowledge. Uh, Mahomes Leon asks, anything you, n anything new you admire about Clary this season? This season, Clary has grown up a lot. She's learned a lot in the last season. She's been through a lot and come out the other side, starting down the path of becoming a shadow hunter, a real shadow hunter, like Jace, like Isabel, like Alec. And seeing her take the next step in that journey and seeing her move forward in that is really amazing um and her strength she's got this strength this season that's that's new it's maturity it's a groundedness and it's a willingness to make sacrifices for for what she wants but the right kind of sacrifices and the willingness to listen to authority when she needs to but of course our girl clary loves to fight authority so <laughs> we'll see a lot of that coming as well Uh, Mylene's Cruz says, how is working with Alicia like? Alicia's awesome. Alicia Wainwright plays Maya on the show. Um, I haven't gotten to work with her much yet, but she's awesome. I'm very, very excited uh, to see more of what she does on the show. Lightwood Bane 96 says, will we see Clary's rune-making ability in season two? Todd hinted. You're going to have to ask Todd about that one, because he's the one who who is allowed to hint more than I am. Uh, 
Uh, Malik's Angel says, what's your favorite episode you've filmed so far? Every episode becomes my new favorite episode. Every episode, things are taken up a notch. Every episode, things change. Every episode, we get something new, and it builds upon it to the point where I think that's, you know, the ultimate that we can get to. I go, oh, that's it. That's the, we've reached the high point of the season. And, um, then we keep going, and it just gets better, and we get a new script, and it, it just keeps escalating, and it's, it's really incredible. Jake M. Larson says, how does it feel to be a part of such a large fandom? It feels like a giant community and a global family, in a sense. And having fans like you guys that really do support and really do care about the story as much as we do and have opinions and have discussions and talk about things that are willing to talk to us about things and it's really amazing. It is a huge responsibility and we feel that and we take that into account and we definitely try and honor that as much as we can. Um, but it's, it's really wonderful and it's a dream come true. Nadia RDZMTZ says, if I could write an episode, what would it be about? Hmm. There's so many cool things we could do. I really loved the alternate dimension last year, and I would love to see what other dimensions are out there, and what other relationships and other things could come to fruition if certain pieces of the story maybe took place or didn't take place or things like that. Just to throw the characters for a loop. Mm. <laughs> Not to say that we don't do that already, because, dear lord, every character gets drugged through the mud this season. You guys have such good questions. Um, Marvin Tan705 says one word to describe this season. Epic. That is this season, in every sense of the word. Queen Kiwi says, will we get to meet Jonathan and Sebastian this season? I hope so. Todd and Darren, if you're watching, I really hope we meet Sebastian this season. Um, mostly for my own selfish purposes, because he's one of my favorite villains ever. And I, I secretly think it would be really fun to have him a part of the show. Um... Oh, uh, wait, where'd that go? Rahel underscore Hain wants to know, are there any more Clarion Magnus scenes? I hope so. I really do love working with Harry, and I love the relationship that Magnus and Clary have. Because there's a, there's a connection there, but it's a very unique one. And I would love to explore that and see, um, and see what, what comes through there. See what we can discover. So many good questions. <laughs> Shannon loves GAC says, What's happening with Clace? <sighs> Drama. Drama is happening with Clace. Because listen, episode 11, we find out we're brother and sister, so what? What else can we do? No, uh, Clary and Jace, in all seriousness, Clary and Jace are, are trying to find a way, in and amongst everything else that's happening, they're trying to find a way to make their connection work in a way that fits their new relationship. And it's hard for both of them, but it's hard for both of them in different ways. So I'm, I'm very interested to see how that plays out as we move forward. All right, guys, I have about nine minutes left, so send me your questions. Um, Obri Emma, how was the relationship between Clary and Jocelyn? That one, that, Clary and Jocelyn have a very interesting arc this season because, yes, they're finally reconnected, but Jocelyn lied to Clary for 18 years. 
So Clary has a lot of questions. Jocelyn has a lot of questions. Clary also has grown up a lot and her mom is jumping back in and doesn't necessarily see her for the shadow hunter for the adult that she is. So it's um it's a it's a neat one. You guys are gonna like it, I think. I hope. It's weird when you're when you're sitting doing a live chat by yourself and you stop talking, it gets very quiet. Lightwood Bay 96 asks, how are Stella and Raja? Stella and Raja are fantastic. They're growing way too quickly. They have become the onset cuddle buddies um, with each other and with everybody else. Uh, and it's great. It's the best decision Dom and Alberto ever made. Um, getting those cats. Clary Frye says, did I check out Stranger Things? I have. I watched a few episodes in between shooting. Um, I really like it. It's so fun and nostalgic. The Great Banshee says, who's playing Jonathan? I don't know. I wish I knew. Wish I knew if he was going to be a part of the show. Ilinil, Il oh, I'm sorry, 27, says, Has there been a scene that's made you cry or very emotional? Yeah. There have been a lot of those. Um, both scenes of mine that I've been crying in as Clary and scenes of other people's that have made me cry. So, uh, get ready. Get your Stella and a box of tissues and get ready to watch season two. Kayla M. DeMarco says, why is Clary so amazing? I think Clary is a fantastic heroine and a great character because she has strength and she has drive and she has ambition and she has this, this need to fight for justice and for the people that she loves and this fierce loyalty to those that are, are near and dear to her heart, but she also, she's still growing up. She's vulnerable, she makes mistakes, she's unsure of herself, and she's flawed. And that's why I think people can relate to her so much, because she, she is as complex as each and every one of us. And that's what makes her so much fun to play as well. Favorite moment on set so far from underscore Rose Hathaway. I had so many cool moments, you guys. Uh, we had one, we had a cool scene the other day where everybody was there and we were all um, in the institute, in this new part of the institute. And so much was happening. And it was really neat because it finally felt like we were back. Everybody was there. Things were happening. We had special effects. We had stunts. We had VFX. We had weapons. People were... So much was happening. Um, and it all came together beautifully. And I can't wait to see it all cut and ready to go. Alright, we got four minutes. What can we do in four minutes? We can do anything in four minutes. Spence underscore Asia says, if I could play any character on PLL, who would I choose? I would love to play any character on PLL. No, um, ooh, I don't know. I just love that show. Softsham says, uh, are there going to be a lot of Clary, Izzy, and Maya scenes? I hope so. That would be really fun. Um, that's some major girl power, and I'm ready for it. That's another part about the show I love. We have a lot of amazing, really strong, confident guy characters, but 
same thing with the women. We have just as many strong, confident, badass women on the show. And it's a really cool community to be a part of. Hello to Brazil from Cry Fogel Menace. Softstrom says, have I been able to prank Dom yet? No. I have not. I will, uh, I will eventually, I'm sure. No, I don't know. Waffle Lynn says, what do you think of Matt singing to his spoon? Um, I was delirious at about, I think that was about two in the morning when he was singing to his spoon. I was laughing my butt off. It was the greatest thing I've ever heard. I would use that song as my ringtone. Um, yeah, it was really funny. It was exactly what we all needed at that moment, too. Matt always knows what to do. Shadow Hunter, or Shadow Hunter X says, What's your favorite book? Other than The Mortal Instruments. Um, my favorite book growing up was a book called Watership Down. And it's a, uh, it's sort of an allegorical book. Um, about a warrant of bunny rabbits that gets displaced, but they, it becomes an allegory for humanity and society, and it's, it's fascinating. Uh, Metalhide underscore Felton says, we miss werewolf nights. I miss werewolf nights. I was just talking to Matt about that today. I'm like, dude, we need to have a game night. It's coming. Don't worry. We just have to find a time where all of us are off at the same time. Alright, one more minute. I gotta find all these questions. Harry F.T. Malik says, is Claire gonna have some scenes with Lydia? Yes, I do have a few scenes with Lydia slash Stephanie this year. But I can't tell you what they're about. Find out soon enough. Spoonkiller03 says, do I like the new set changes made for this season? Um, the set's amazing. They've expanded so many things. They've recreated so many things. Um, it's, it's blowing my mind. I get, I actually get lost in the Institute now. There are all these hallways and rooms and things and doorways and I, I get so turned around. Um, just because it's so massive now. And I think that's really, really incredible. Um, but all in all, I'm going to do one more question. Let's see here. Uh, B-O underscore OK Love Rema says, who do you laugh with the most on set? Depends. I laugh with everyone on set. And I think that's what makes the group so great, is because all of us make each other laugh, but in different ways. Um, but it all boils down to the fact that we just genuinely enjoy each other's company, and we genuinely have a good time together. And that's something that makes the show even more special. Especially because we do so many dark and emotional things on screen. Being able to have a sense of levity off screen is, is pretty incredible. Um, but all in all, I want to say thank you guys so much. So, so, so much for joining me for this, for being fans of the show, for loving this story and these characters and caring about Clary and all the rest of the gang as much as all of us do. Um, I'm so, so excited for you guys to see this next season. It's going to be incredible. Um, I can't wait to hear what you think. I can't wait to see it myself. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's going to be amazing. Have a good night, loves. I gotta go back to set. Bye, angels.